Eight people who lived in a Portage home that burned to the ground are receiving help from the Red Cross. Cell phone video shows the home near Highway 16 engulfed in flames yesterday. It didn't take long for that fire to destroy the home. Now all that remains is a pile of debris. Tony Galley spoke with the man who ran into action to help those inside escape unharmed. You look at this rubble, you know that three stories worth of apartment house consumed by fire and you wonder how everyone got out safely. One reason, a very special bystander. There were no firefighters yet when Steve Moore came upon the fire's small beginning with a fire extinguisher he carries. Yeah, it's just a little five pounder. The fire extinguisher was no help, but Steve Moore was. Moore is Portage's former assistant fire chief, a civilian now, but once a firefighter, always a firefighter. As soon as I approach the training, it just kicks in. And Moore discovered a mom with kids were on this building's second floor. Frightened. The downstairs residents and her and the children both got you know, I mean, a fair amount of smoke. So Moore and at least one other bystander with no breathing apparatus guided the tenants out. Did we help? Yeah. You know, our, our you know, our efforts, I think, helped move people right along. But no, there's no, I'm not here. So. The frightening thing was she had an infant right you know, hanging onto her chest and the, and the other two small children with her. She did a very good job of, of, of keeping Calm. Steve Moore put in more than 20 years in the emergency response business. He says he needs no recognition for his actions as a bystander. Main thing, any kind of fire, when you, when, especially you know when there's kids involved, just make sure they're they're out and they're okay. That's the greatest reward in the world. Just make sure that those people are okay. In Portage, Tony Galley, 27 News. Portage's fire chief says the blaze on West Wisconsin Street caused at least $400,000 damage. He says they have no official cause yet. Victims say they believe a discarded cigarette may have caused that fire.